here in Saxony, some 500 hectares of land have been dedicated to grape growing for over 800 years. Proschwitz Castle is Saxony's oldest vineyard. Grapes have been grown here since the Middle Ages. Georg Prince Zulippe took over the estate in 1990. Many first-time visitors to Saxony are surprised to see the vineyards. They can't imagine it. But the local cultural landscape was shaped by wine growing. Just look at all the terraces and stroll through the vineyards. It's a beautiful place to experience wine. The first mention of wine growing in Saxony is from the year 1161. The vineyards then spread along the Elbe River. Wine growing peaked here in the 16th century with some 6,000 hectares of vineyards. In the 19th century, many vineyards were destroyed by pests. Wine growing in the region languished for decades but was revived in the 1990s after the fall of the Berlin Wall. The vineyards were in Solipa's family for hundreds of years. This wine cellar stores the family's treasures. My ancestors include the Karlowitz and Berlepsch families. They were all closely linked to wine growing here. They helped found the first wine growing company in the area. My great grandfather wrote a long book on wine growing in Saxony. So there are many links, and of course, they all had vineyards. Today, the wine growing business in Saxony is booming again. There are around two and a half thousand vintners in the region. Georg Prince zu Lippe employs a staff of about 90. His vineyard produces mainly Pinot Gris and Pinot Blanc. The vineyards along the Elba are known for the acidity of their grapes, which is due to their northerly location. The continental climate is a boon for Saxony. We have hot summer days and relatively cool nights. The citric acid cycle, which is important for the flavor process, works perfectly here. We end up with wonderfully delicate, fruity, elegant wines with a high mineral content. Saxony takes pride in the 850th anniversary of wine growing here and is celebrating with events large and small. At tastings, wine lovers can sample recent vintages. It's a lovely wine, with a wonderful finish, mild and no acidic aftertaste. It grows over granite and stays long on the vine. I'm very pleased with Saxony's wines. While Saxony's wines might not be as well known as those from other regions of Germany, connoisseurs appreciate them for their freshness and delicate aroma. This rosé has hints of red currants and plums. It's the newest creation of the Castle Proschwitz vineyard and comes from a red grape. The color is lighter, however, because processing doesn't include the grape skins. What's exciting about this wine is the fresh and lovely fruity quality. That's what's special about the region. The fruitiness comes into its own. This is a lovely wine to sip on a beautiful terrace with a view of the landscape. Wine growers like Georg Prince Zulippe hope the anniversary celebrations will help introduce other wine lovers to the region's charms.